Hi, welcome to Just a Lab Sim Racing Videos. So here we go in Automobilista 2 with a nice IndyCar race at Laguna Seca. So well, let's go, let's go in this fantastic sim racing app. So nearly everything is perfect and uh, well, here we go for the start. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But everything's looking so great, everything's perfect, but... Uh, oh, hey, I'm missing something. Do you miss something too? I'm really missing something. Everything's so great, but I don't hear any engineer speaking to me. Okay, let's change this. Stop, stop, stop. Let's go. Let's go back and look what we can do to get an engineer speaking. Let's leave here. Uh, maybe we can do something in the options in Automobilista too. Uh, let's go and have a look at the audio control. I'm really missing this. So let's go back and, uh, well, let's go to the options. Let's go to the audio. What's there? Notice. Nothing. Pit, pit radio volume is there, but I don't hear anything from the pit radio or something else. I don't hear my race engineer. Let's go to gameplay. Nothing here. Oh, well, what's that? The race engineer and the spotter. But I don't hear them. I don't hear them. What can I do? This changes nothing. I can set it too off, too authentic. Okay, but I show you how you get your race engineer and your spotter working. It's not within Automobilist 2. You just need a little tiny, pretty good tool that's called Crew G4. And I show you how to set it up. Here we go. So well, the first thing you need to do is go to the crewchief.org website. I provide you with a link in the description of the video, so you can just click the link in the description. So when you're on the crewchief forum page, there's a link for downloading crewchief for PC. Just click on it, accept the message for downloading, and uh, it will immediately start and you can just double click to install crew chief so then just click on the next button so in my case now crew chief is already installed you will have the option to uh, install crew chief just follow the instruction to install crew chief on your pc and uh, choose the appropriate location where you want to have it and uh, well that's it if you have already installed it you can uh, change your installation, repair or remove. So once you have done this, then you can go and start the application. To start the application, just simply click on the icon on your desktop and then Crew Chief is starting with a, <laughs> a current version with a nice Ukrainian colors and uh, here we are in crew chief now and we can configure it what you need to do what is essential is you do have to choose uh, the messages playback device select it from the list of uh, devices detected uh, by crew chief in my case i'm choosing my logitech g433 uh, headset uh, the same for the background playback device just choose it from the list too you can uh, have this for for a separate uh, device or the same device as you like and uh, then just set the messages volume on top and also the background volume you can fine tune it uh, later uh, to your needs when you're in game and uh, the voices are too loud or too low then you can adjust it here later too next is you have a list of uh, uh, games a huge list of games where Crew Chief is working with and you will also find Automobilista and Automobilista 2 in this list so just choose Automobilista 2. Next thing just choose your name also from a huge list of first names so maybe you're lucky and find your names uh, in here. Um, I, I just uh, have choosed, chosen Justin now as the first name and uh, you can also choose uh, the chief voice and the spotter voice so there is also a list of uh, voices here available you can play a little bit around with this next one is properties 
uh, I just go there to have a quick view on it but I will not go into detail as I said because you can just leave everything on the default settings so usually it will work you have uh, well let's say hundreds of settings where you can fine-tune crew chief or I'll not uh, tell you anything about this now because uh, I would talk for two hours <laughs> when I go through all the details so just leave it as it is for the moment uh, we also have a command macro editor leave everything there don't go in there you will be <laughs> uh, a little bit worried uh, when going in there but we do not need to do this now so next thing is you have some available controllers you might uh, ask yourself why uh, are there some controllers here what should I do with these controllers it's also pretty easy uh, you can assign some action where to interact with your, with your crew chief uh, for example uh, you want uh, to know what's your position or uh, what's uh, the, the gap uh, ahead what's the gap behind and uh, you can easily uh, assign this select your device on the left so for example my uh, uh, hot throttle controller with a lot of switches and uh, go in there and uh, you can go here what's the gap ahead and then just click on the sign then click on the button and uh, well you will see it on top what button is assigned to this action here so during the race you can just press this button and the message will be sent to your crew chief to interact but there's one much more easier way that's the voice recognition vote mode and that's uh, very comfortable you will see it later when we go into the race uh, by default it's disabled so you have several options you can uh, either choose to hold the button to press and release the button have it always on or trigger uh, a word which is uh, a chief you every time you call your chief then uh, voice recognition will be activated for now I leave it to always on um, it's a pretty easy way to do this and well that's it for now we do not start the application now we do this later because we have to do some small configuration changes to automobilista 2 here we jump back into automobilista 2 now so back in automobilista 2 there's not so much to do here so simply give two options go to system and in system you will see your shared memory, UDP frequency, UDP protocol version and it's pretty easy just choose Project Cars 2, choose UDP frequency 1 and UDP protocol version also Project Cars 2 this is also used for some telemetry uh, tools and so on but it's also used for crew chief so that's it and then we go back and uh, go to the race menu and then we jump back for some start the application of crew chief well now back in crew chief there's not much to do just go and click on radio start check. application radio check. so you will hear uh, your spotter and your crew chief with a short check message i'll play it again and click on stop and start the application again and I'll be quiet here the crew chief radio check this is your spotter radio check so what you will see this down to in the log file can't aim mate <laughs> is this already listening to me so I uh, need to talk a little bit <laughs> with a low voice uh, because I Check at the voice recognition mode and he is now listening to every word I'm saying so let's leave this big brother and get back to Automobilista 2. So well back in Automobilista 2 let's go and start a quick race here. Let's go back and start again this nice race, uh, quick race in Laguna Seca. Let's go for a two lap race with crew chief enabled now. I will not talk too much, so just hear my voice, giving some commands to my crew chief and uh, hear the difference to the standard without crew chief. Here we go. 
two laps. Let's make them count. B9. Nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Green, green, green. What's my position? B10. Do I have to pit? No. What's the gap behind? Start holding. Time to get to work. 0.2. On your right side. Clear right. my lap time. You've just done a 124.0. What's my position? Tenth position. What's my fuel level? Fifteen liters remaining. Do I have to pit now? Where's my tire wear? Your tires are fine mate, just push. B10, that's the end of the race. Never mind. So well, that's it. This was a two-lap uh, creek race. With the crew chief on, and uh, on your right side, he's still talking still in, there. In, in, the, right. in the out lap now, so we can just play around in the out lap with some commands. Maybe you got an impression now of what you can do with crew chief, and I said it's really, it's pretty easy. On your right, clear right, or on your right and, side, uh, it gives clear you right. a lot more immersion to well racing. And uh, I love that so much, and uh, it's working, I'd say, for nearly all other racing sims. So it's also worth to have a look at it uh, for things like race room uh, or R Factor 2 and so on. But for Automobile Institute, I think it's uh, really all right. good and valuable add on. Clear on your right. Or on your right. Look out for the pit speed limit. So, well, thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments of the video. So, if you like this video, give me a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and, uh, well, thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice weekend. See you soon. Back on the track. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.